This place is beautiful, serene, green and peaceful. It's a secure environment for family-oriented people. It appears to be very well managed and organized. One thing is certain, this is an estate with serious potential. The only downside I have noticed Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tolu Nazal. If you're here for the first time, you're welcome. And if you're my returning subscriber, thank you for coming back again. Today, I'm going to be showing you a very beautiful estate in Aja, Lagos, Nigeria, and it's Royal Gardens Estate. This video was requested by some of my subscribers, and I'm going to be showing you this video in parts. So if this is what you like to see, sit, relax, and enjoy this video. And please do me this favor watch it to the end royal garden is a gated residential estate in aja close to vgc just off the lake Ekpe expressway it sits on 150 hectares of land it's a high class residential estate and there are lots of public servants government officials responsible members of the society living in this estate there's a large expanse of green area in the middle. Immediately after turning in, I noticed that the noise from the road suddenly ceased. Oh, this looks good. Look at the plants right here. It's massed nicely and well trimmed. I'm not yet in, but permit me to say this. This place is beautiful and the atmosphere is peaceful. I realize the entrance here is just for residents. This place symbolizes its name, Royal Garden. The garden is well taken care of. We were directed to another entrance for visitors and that's where we are going. It appears to be a big estate. You can tell from the distance from the residence gate to the one we are going to use. I am glad I mistakenly took the other gate. I wouldn't have seen the beauty and serenity the residents enjoy on the other side. This gate is very busy. It would have been great if they blessed this entrance with the same beauty or even close to it. The guards here are more than what I usually see in many estates. They pay attention and they will need to confirm that your host granted you access before they allow you in. The road is unusually wide. The walk path is well established. There are no cobweb wires like you always say in the comment section. The wiring is underground. A laughing crescent. They have speed breakers in this place. Aloja Avenue. One developed land here. The fences are low so we can appreciate the beauty of this place better. If you already like what you see, please take a moment and put it in the comment section. Just let me know where you're watching from and type, it's looking good. The houses here are nicely painted. I am getting a Pinock and Cowrie Creek vibe here. Have you seen those estates? If you haven't, please make sure you check it out after this video. They're really lovely. I'm going to put a link to it at the end of this video. The houses here are big and they have space reserved for green area.
The road is nicely tarred with slight slopes for the water to access the drainage channels. Plants are well cared for here. Oba Road. Now I have a better understanding of why the name is Royal Gardens. Even the street name speaks royalty. I think this is the subscriber gate where we attempted to pass through initially. I can't emphasize this enough. This estate is peaceful. It is very well planned and organized. The road network is good. Electricity here is also very good. It's such a clean estate and it's so big that you might even think they won't be able to maintain the cleanliness. Here they have a management authority that is charged with maintaining the estate and you can tell they're doing it right. The estate provides 23 hours of power supply and central water system for the residents. Land here sells for about 55 million to 85 million naira thereabouts. A five bedroom house goes for between 130 million to about 250 million naira. A four bedroom detached property goes for about 120 million naira to about 135 million naira. Please note that all prices are subject to change and it depends on when you're watching this video. However, if you intend to invest here or acquire a property here, you can reach out via the contacts in the description and we'll help you out with that. The waste management handled by the management authority is actually very effective. As we move around the estate, you will notice that they don't have waste littering the place and it looks like they pick up the waste bin often. This estate is not true. There are no overhead wires. All wires are underground. Olomo Avenue. The buildings have similar designs and most of the roofs I have seen are dark. It appears they have a color code because no building color is off. What do you think about this estate? This video came highly requested and you know I love reading your comments in the comment section. There is still so much undeveloped land here and this is a very secure estate. If you are getting any value from this channel, please support me by clicking the like icon under the video. And if your subscribe button is still showing red, please click on it. Thank you for your support. Look at the drainage channels. It looks like they have a canal on the right. Wow, look at this dedicated park. There's so much construction going on here. This looks like it's going to be a mini estate within an estate. If you're looking to invest here, you can use the contacts in the description and we'll help you facilitate it. This place is so big. There are apartments on the other side of the fence.
Not everywhere is for sale. There's a caveat emptor which says, Green Park not for sale. From this, you can tell that they value their green area. I can't overemphasize how big this estate is. I didn't expect this. Please share with me in the comment section your observation or what you appreciate about this place. I haven't seen any abandoned tire by the waste beam. Neither have I seen an overflowing trash. This doesn't look like an estate that will flood. They are very intentional about the drainage. We have a football field. There are lots of people living here, but it looks like he's not here full. What could this be? Are we having the same thoughts? It looks like the grass here was burnt. I don't know what to think. Please share your thoughts. There are lots of new houses in this place. There's a basketball court right here and next to it is the children's playground. They are big on recreation in this estate. This community looks very homely. Kids would definitely love it here. Akogun Road, Onitolo Crescent. This place is so beautiful. Omonoba Avenue. This place is beautiful, serene, green and peaceful. It's a secure environment for family-oriented people. It appears to be very well managed and organized, which is good for investments. One thing is certain, this is an estate with serious potential. The only downside I have noticed is the traffic that you experience before getting here. I believe that will go away very soon. I don't want to make this video too long, so I'll show you a continuation of this beautiful estate in another video. And I'll also show you a bit of the access road so that you can have an idea of what this vicinity looks like. If you have a request on places you'd like to see, please send me a message via the details in the description. Thank you for staying with me. Thank you for watching this video. Bye and see you in my next one. Here to watch the next video.